We're on the south shore of Oahu, about to meet up with Carissa Moore. She's the 2011 Women's World Champ. Um, she's just getting in from surfing, and we're gonna spend the rest of the day with her, see what she gets into on a regular basis at home. Carissa Moore has been a household name in surfing for a decade, which is pretty remarkable, being that she's only 20. She pretty much set the bar for what was possible for female surfers before she came along. I don't think that anyone really believed that women could surf at that level. As far as progression and high performance female surfing goes, for a while there, there was no one even close to her. The waves are pretty small and mushy. I was... It looked like there was a couple fun ones. Yeah, no, it's good for me since like all our compositions are in really small, mushy waves. Like for me, it's actually perfect. Do you guys want to come home with me? I'm just gonna grab my workout stuff and then I was gonna go train with my trainer at her house. And you guys are more than welcome to come for a little while if you want. All right. I don't want to work out, but I'll watch you. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Why did you decide to stay up here? Stay on this or side. Stay down here, I guess. I just love town. There's always waves all the time of the year. My family's on this side. It's not like you have a far drive to the North Shore. I know. Except for us, we think it's so far. Welcome to my home. <laughs> Give you a tour of my house. The porch is like my favorite part. We built these stairs and moved in so it goes down to the stream. And pretty cool, yeah? This is why you don't live on the North Shore. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So, this is a, must be a park or it's preserved in some way, right? Actually, it's not even a legal hike. Like, people just come back here. Oh, yeah? Well, my property actually goes all the way up there, but that's all like land that I can't build on, which is really nice because like, no one can ever build there. It's just your permanent view. Yeah. Okay, I'll come show you the rest of my house. This is the chair me and my sister are working on. We found this on the side of the road, and we we're like cutting a bunch of um, like magazine stuff out. Yeah. So that's our art project right now. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of cluttered. Looks like there's a lot of art projects in the house. Kind of. I just have to change and then we could. We should probably go because um, my trainer is going to meet us at like 9.45. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got my first uh, ticket the other day. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I was first talking on my cell phone. I was, and I can't, like I was being bad, but I still talk on my cell phone. Like, I see, he gave me a ticket, I turned it back on. <laughs> Not really bad. Not really. <laughs> Did you hang up or were you just like, hey, hang on a second, I'm getting hassled? It was my boyfriend. I'm like, babe, I'm getting pulled over. So I hung up and then I called him back. <laughs> You're two-handed texting. You just can't put, you can't hold it up here. If you put it down here, they won't know. Hi! <laughs> oh, hi guys, sorry. Hey. Girl moment. <laughs> I found my friend. Hey guys. Hi, Lisa. Hey. Oh, come in. This is Carissa's training round. I don't want to do the training as we did before the tour started. But same formula. The three, the yeah. three sets. And yes, then... but the sets won't be as um, long because before that you're gonna do some boxing circuits. We haven't eaten all day, but when Chris has finished boxing with Lisa, we're gonna go get some sandwiches. It looked like a pretty gnarly workout. It was, I, I don't know, like she gets me going, like gets me like uh, nice and sweaty and tired, like, but it's, I love it when we, like, there's nothing better than getting your body moving and like. There was a time where people didn't really want to cop to working out and being such an athlete, but you and a lot of the other girls, you really own that. You know, there's Taj, there's Mick, there's Kelly, all those guys take really good care of their bodies and they work out and they train and a lot of the girls like, or even more into it, you know, there's like Sally, where she's like, there's not any fat on her body, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever be that nuts, but I'll enjoy the training part, like, <laughs> a couple times a week. <laughs> I still have my cake, and a bite of a donut every once in a while, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> Before this year, I, w I like lost 20 pounds. I mean, I made an effort to like, eat healthier and and work out, but when it comes down to it, like, hey, I was happy with myself back then, like when I was 20 pounds heavier, you know, I'm the same person. I just, it's just interesting how people will look and make judgments and stuff like that, but yeah. 
I mean, you won a world title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It was just, yeah, and it's like, I've never, and that's what I meant by like the whole workout thing. It's like, I've just never been like, people have never like wanted to know about that side because looking at me, like they'd probably be like, oh no, maybe she doesn't do all that stuff, you know? <laughs> so what's next? Do you think you're just going to start surfing in like really small bikinis like Alana? No, 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 no. That's never going to be my thing. Never. I swear I traumatize people if I wore a tiny bikini like that because my <laughs> butt is so white. <laughs> do you feel like you can relate to a lot of the women surfers of the generation before you or do you look to the guys like role models? I definitely look at like Mick and Kelly and Julian and John and it's neat to see like they're, everyone's pushing their surfing a lot. So I think I look to them and my peers right now the most, you know? Well, because you guys have pushed it so much further than, than the generation before you. Well, it was interesting because when I was younger, they had events at some of the waves like Chopu and Fiji. I hope to get waves back in meatier and heavier stuff, but I'd be interested to see how the girls would handle it now because they all surf really good in small stuff. Uh -huh. But because we don't have to surf in big waves, I don't know if a lot of girls actually practice in it. She can surf high performance, progressive style surfing, and she also charges. She's towed in at Jaws, she'll surf at Pipe, she'll surf all the big waves that I think a lot of the girls, um, especially the ones who are the high performance surfers, don't have that side of the game as well. And so she's one of the few who really has the full package. What are we going to put this whipped cream on? I don't know, we'll have to figure out something to put it on. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just break out like a graham cracker and I'll just put the whipped cream on top and eat it. <laughs> now we will make a yummy, yummy sandwich. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm just gonna open these up. Why don't you start? Maybe open up the chicken and like cut some slices off. Are you this nice to people when you're in a heat? <laughs> um, well, you know what? It's just a heat. We're all competitive, we all want to win, but at the end of the day, like, you're a really good friend to me, you know? And, um, like, Laura's a really good testament to that, Laura Enever. Like, she's such a rad human, and we've gone on a lot of trips together. But we definitely have had, like, some paddle battles and stuff, and, like, that's not fun at all. If, if I didn't have to paddle battle anybody for the rest of my life, I would never do it. I'd just surf. But, like, it comes down to that sometimes, and it's awesome because we'll paddle each other down the beach, and then afterward, we just shake hands and tell each other we love each other, and we'll hang out later, you know? It's, it's cool, so. But I definitely, I'm not like, I don't talk too much in heats, and I definitely have my serious face on, so. <laughs> you can hardly say that right now. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the rest of your day? It's time for my nap. So, you guys gotta beat it. <laughs> 21 year old, nap time. Nap time. <laughs> we heard it from dad, we heard it from the trainer. I heard it from Chris. I know, how funny was that? Everyone's like, you guys gotta go by like 12.30 because Chris is gonna go take her nap. I feel bad because we're like 20 minutes late right now. Jeez. Oh, Dessert. Waiting for you. Cheers. After a hard day's work, See? cheers. <laughs> You're really good. You're really good. <laughs>